Are you ready? Are you ready to take a journey through the cosmos? Are you ready to as well? We're back here to give back as we used to do. So we're doing free reading. So y'all gotta come with your questions, okay? You deserve more. Don't settle for less. If you want more in your life and you feel like you need a man, you know, to be in your bed and to, you know, grow old with them, don't settle for less. Let him go. Because he ain't trying to do more than just what he's doing. And some of these men get comfortable. And their asses get comfortable and we allow them to get comfortable. And then they sit up there and they do what the hell they want to do. And you need not to let them do what the hell they want to do. What's so goddamn funny? But at the end of the day... If you don't make them responsible, they ain't going to be responsible. And at the end of the day, if you don't want to commit, yeah, like my, like I said earlier, my grandmother said, if you're good, if I'm good enough to lay in the bed with, I'm good enough to goddamn marry. You see what I'm saying? Uh, at the end of the day, if you want more from his ass, then you tell him you want more. And if he don't want to give you more, to kick his ass to the curb. He got to go. So. He ain't deserving of your love. After that, rat, let me see what we got. <laughs> <laughs> uh, L Dog says the golden age is a time when we knew and utilized our powers. I believe it was the time we built the pyramids. L Dog, we are We're in the age time, no. of Aquarius, and yes, we are in the golden age right now. We are rising. We are the ancient one that's rising. Let me tell you all this though. This is why so many people. I know a lot of melanated people are moving back to Georgia because you all don't understand. There, this part, this Georgia was part of uh, uh, Africa at one time. But as I always tell you all, Atlantis is under the city of Georgia now, of Atlanta, right? Because the closest, okay, the closest ocean to Georgia is the Savannah Ocean, the Pacific Ocean. But saying that, when you come inland to Georgia, it's hidden. There's water under the the, the you know land of Atlanta. Now, we are in the age of Aquarius. We are at the beginning of the end. And so we're coming right back into that golden age of the ancient ones. That's why we're rising again. You know, I had a young boy hit me up. You know, what was it? Two days ago, one of them said, well, who am I in, from ancient times? Because I told his brother he was Ramesses II from Kemet. And then he, his brother wanted to know who he is. You know, so a lot of us are ancient ones that's rising, but people don't know the energy is right here in Atlanta, a lot of ancient ones are rising. They actually found a city filled with artifacts from Egypt, Al Kemet. They found a city here in Atlanta. They took it off. They hit it real quick, but there was artifacts just like in Egypt. So we are in that time right now. Hello, whoever sent me a private on our uh, uh, inbox, come on the live, okay? Um, Air Dog says my daughter's name is Atlantis. Atlantis. Beautiful. So you must have a connection to the ancient one. I gotta see your face because you probably an ancient one yourself. Um, Nikki Love, how is my brother doing? Ozzy Bryant, do you talk to him or not? His spirit been around you lately. Is he worried about something with you going on? His brother's name was Elijah. Elijah was one of my favorite radio hosts that would listen to me all day long. And I went back home to New York to meet him. And he gave me a ring. He was so nice, y'all. He was not, was it a ring or a necklace? Something he gave me. It was a ring or a necklace he gave me. And Elijah was a really, really good kid, but he ended up dying. Elijah died, and I don't feel like, I feel like there's something else with that. But anyway, family, his, his brother Ozzy has asked me about him. He's fine. But Elijah's been around you a lot, Ozzy. He's worried about you. I don't know what's going on with your health. If something's going on with you, he's worried about. You need to talk to him. Get his picture. Light a white candle. Put one in there and communicate with him so he can communicate with you through your dreams. He's worried about you. Yeah, and I said they also found artifacts in Oklahoma. They, yeah. found, they found artifacts everywhere. Everywhere. They they found artifacts in Mississippi. They found artifacts in Texas. They found artifacts in the Grand I forgot Canyon. to tell you, though. I had a dream not too long ago. It was a couple nights ago. That the whole earth was nothing but uh, uh, um, comedic people. Egyptian people. So, in the dream, they just showed me everywhere. Everywhere. China. Everywhere. They were all Egyptians that ran this whole earth. That's what the dream was about. And prior, what that was the other day. That was after my dream or before my dream. That was before. And so, and then the other day I had a dream <laughs> that um somebody somebody kept showing me the Bible 
but this Bible was special. This Bible was different. This Bible was showing me that the people, the main characters like Moses and all of them, these were uh, Moses and like <coughs> Noah. They were showing me that these, this Bible was showing me that they were all Egyptians, like Egyptian gods, but they changed their names. And, and they were saying, yeah, you have to figure out the, uh, the characteristics of this person to figure out what Egyptian god it was. And it, it was very interesting. I was like, wow. And then, you know, I just woke up, but. Are you ready?